Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another episode of the Galena's Legacy Generation 1 and oh my gosh, we have just like had like such an amazing like part the last episode. Like last episode was so crazy and exciting and if you can't tell by what they're wearing, it was a good time. So if you didn't see the last episode, I will link it down below. But basically, um, Thelia and Jackson got married for money because Thelia actually got like an inheritance call in the episode before. And it said basically that she had to get married in seven days. And so she asked Jackson to get married for money and he agreed. He would do anything for her, is what he said, and basically they got married, and turns out they didn't just get married for money, they actually found out that they have feelings for each other. So, they are just over here so excited to actually be married. Like, this is kind of crazy to them, that they are actually married. I mean, they didn't expect to, like, even have feelings for each other or anything, or, like, any of this to even happen because they were like best friends and stuff before so it's just crazy they went from like best friends to like um fwb to actually like getting married for money to actually being married and being happy and like realizing they have feelings for each other so honestly i love these two so much and i have a bit of a plan for this episode I really want them to go and celebrate their wedding. I mean, they deserve to go and, like, have a good day and enjoy themselves. So, I think I'm going to have them actually come over here and woohoo in the tent to celebrate. Because, honestly, they're newlyweds, so they need to go and celebrate it. So, I'm going to have them go ahead and go woohoo in the tent and then I'm going to probably have them go on their little honeymoon. So I want them to actually not go and have like a traditional honeymoon. I really want them to actually go to like Copperdale and actually just go and ride like some of the rides and get some pictures in the photo booth and stuff like that and just celebrate that way. I think that would be really, really cute. So. You know, they don't really want to, like, waste their money on, like, going on some big fancy trip. I don't think that they're that kind of couple. So, I think that they would just go and do something simple together and save their money for something big that they want. Like a house. So, yeah, I haven't built their house yet, but I'm planning on building it before the next episode. So, that's my plan. Oh my gosh, they are just, like, celebrating their honeymoon. Look at all that um steam <laughs> oh my gosh and the fireworks wow oh my gosh wow they are just so happy right now and also i didn't actually give jackson all his outfits yet and i didn't give kit and kaylin theirs either so i need to do that off of screen so girl why don't you go ahead and like um, go ahead and kiss his cheek and be really sweet and embrace him and just be so loving to him because honestly, you two are just the cutest couple. Honestly, I love you two so much. Like, they both are such rebels and I feel like they fit so well together. What's he saying? Did he ask like a question, like a pop up? No, he didn't. I don't know what he was asking her. Maybe he was asking her about, like, having kids and stuff, if she actually wants that. Because I feel like now she does want kids, but I feel like before she was, like, kind of over the idea of having children. So, I definitely feel like now she's, like, more into, like, having kids. So, there is potential that she could be pregnant. I mean, I'm not giving anything away, but I think she possibly is pregnant. Oh my gosh, wow, the love language of touch from Thelia just made that moment truly magical for Jackson. It has Jackson pondering the joy of a tender caress or the comfort of a warm embrace from a beloved Sim. Is this 
a moment of realization that Jackson likes physical intimacy? Yes. Of course he does. Um, honestly, I feel like he totally would love physical intimacy. Honestly, I'm going to have them go ahead and, like, head off to Copperdale. Because I really want them to, like, spend the day together and go and, like, have a good day. And just get to celebrate their honeymoon. But first, I want her to, like, open a SMB bank account. Because I really, really want her to, like, save this money in a account so we'll be able to have it and stuff. So, this is actually a mod. Um, so, I will have it actually linked down below if you're interested in it. It's the SMB Bills and Bank mod by Sim Realist if you're interested in it. So... This says, SMB Bank now boasts exciting new features to enhance your e-banking experience. A modern new app, the same SMB Bank you know and trust. Organize your finances, facilitate your daily transactions, track your expenses at the tip of your fingers. So let's open an SMB Bank account. You pick the perfect time to join us. We offer multiple account types to fit all your financial needs. Select which account type you would suit you the most. Um, I didn't know what that noise was. I was like, what's that music? And now I know it's just like the pop-up. Um, I think we want to do maybe savings. I'm not the best with money and stuff, but I think we want to do a savings account. Um, so let's just do savings. Become an SMB bank premier today. Um, no thanks. We're good. Um, SMB Bank Together. Share this SMB Bank account with your most trusted Sims. Your associates will be able to deposit, withdraw, transfer, and perform various other actions on this account. You're free to add remove Sims later too. If you choose to create an individual account now, you will need to pay a small fee to turn it into a shared account later. What will it be? Um, I think she'll probably share it with, um, with Jackson for now. So that will be fine. So we're going to share it with Jackson. So this is going to be Delia and, and Jackson's account. So there we go. And we're going to put however much we want in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, like probably about 20,000 in here. I think 20,000 would be good. Um Yeah, cuz I think I want to put 20,000 there because I want them to have a little bit of money that they can like spend right now on like food or whatever they want for their honeymoon. So, I'm going to put 20,000 in there so that they will have it whenever I'm going to build their house. So, there we go. We have 2,679 simoleons left. The SMB bank account named Thelia and Jackson's account is all yours. It boasts a balance of 20,000 with 1% of weekly interest rate. You are now free to do with it as you will. Um, so, a modern new app, the same SMB you know and trust. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So... That's all set up, so I guess Thelia has learned a thing or two about um, everything with, like, banking and all that, so that's good. So I'm going to have them actually go ahead and go to Copperdale and celebrate their honeymoon. Let me save the game really quick just so I don't lose any of that progress because I have not updated my game because I am too scared. I've heard of people's games breaking and stuff, so I'm too nervous to do it. So I'm going to actually have them meet up with Kit and Kaylin later to talk about the wedding and everything and talk about what happened and stuff. But like right now, I just want Jackson and Thelia to have some time together. So... They're going to go and hang out at the, um, like, what's it called? I think it's just like a little um, amusement park. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's just like a little um, amusement park. So they're going to go here to this 
amusement park and they're gonna get some pictures and stuff and it's gonna be really cute I'm so excited so honestly I think that Thelia probably is pregnant at this point honestly because I literally like her and Jackson have woohooed so many times I just feel like it's my game is cursed and it will literally like make my sim pregnant even if I set it to where she can't get pregnant as easy so I feel like she probably is pregnant so <laughs> knowing my luck she is pregnant but it's okay because her and Jackson are actually ready for kids now because they actually have a good amount of money and they do have feelings for each other and they're married as well so I feel like it's gonna be okay if she is pregnant though so honestly as well we really need a generation two so I am all for it if she gets pregnant so honestly I think she probably is so generation two could possibly already be in the works right now <laughs> but she hasn't taken a pregnancy test or anything I kind of want her to just kind of find out on her own so I think that's probably what we're gonna do so they can come over here and they could woohoo in the tunnel of love and they could like come over here and ride the haunted house and come get some ice cream ride the ferris wheel you know what they're total rebels so I s so definitely think they're gonna come over here and woohoo in the haunted house first I think that's what we're gonna do I think we're gonna have them go woohoo in the haunted house first because they are not even giving a crap they are a couple that are pretty much like we're gonna do what we want to do we don't care if society hates us we love each other and that's how they feel like they only care about what their friends think they don't care about anybody else so they're gonna run over here and ride the haunted house so there they go they're gonna go on in Wonder if we're gonna get any like pop-ups or anything. Girl, where are you going? Oh, she was taking the long route. So they're gonna go in there. Ooh, she's giving him a nice big deep kiss before they go in. Girl, honestly, they're celebrating the right way. Oh my gosh, this lady is actually pregnant right now. That's so funny. Bernice was pregnant in my other save as well. Oh my gosh. Kaylin, congratulations on getting married to Jackson. I hope you two are very happy together. Oh my gosh, Kaylin. That's so heckin' sweet of her to say that. Honestly, I feel like Kaylin did have a crush on um, Thelia. And I feel like Thelia had a little crush on her as well. But I feel like, you know, her feelings were maybe a tad bit stronger for Jackson. Just because I feel like her and Jackson were better friends than her and Kaylin, but I mean, she still might have a little bit of a crush on Kaylin, but you know, she is married to Jackson now, so she isn't really going to get to like experience her bisexuality that much now, but you know, she still is going to be an advocate for LGBTQ people, so... Yeah, but Kaylin is over here just being super supportive, even though she might have some feelings still. And I love that. Such supportive friends over here. I just love hearing that. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my gosh, judgmental. Something about the flashing lights and cheap animatronics of the grave mine really sets the mood for romance. Unfortunately, before anything exciting happens, Thelia spots an animatronic of a miner that seems to be watching the cart a little too closely. It doesn't look mad, just disappointed. The judgy look in the robot's eyes have put both riders on edge. Does Thelia call out the creature and uh, diminish it for its patronizing glances? Or does she leave it be and go back to enjoying something more hair-raising than a haunted house? Um, I feel like she totally called them out. So, Thelia calls out to the miner, attempting to alleviate the fear of being watched. The animatronic's judgmental gaze shifts and moves on to making the next set of writers question their life choices. Before passing to the next room, Thelia notices the animatronic is giving a thumbs up to the passionate couple. Luckily, 
The next room has no animatronics, so the two spend the rest of the ride happily enjoying each other's company in the dark, free from prying eyes and cybernetic judgment, and gain friendship between riders and romance. Well, looks like they had a pretty hair-raising uh, experience in a different way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at those fireworks. Wow. So they had a great time. I don't know if they're going to get like a little moodlet. Ooh, she got a moodlet. Pleasantly satisfied from spectacular woohooing. That woohoo was something to remember. So I think I'm going to have them go ahead and go on this one as well. We're just going to go woohoo on every single ride. We're going to be like total freaking like rebels and just not care and we're gonna go and woohoo on every single one of these attractions so honestly i feel like they don't even care like they love breaking rules i mean she's a criminal he's a drug dealer i mean they just don't care so let's see if they get an actual like pop-up for this one as well because that would be so cool if like we get another pop up. Alright you two, get on in there. Go on. I haven't heard the music for this yet, so I'm really like wanting to like lean in close to hear the music. <gasps> oh my gosh, that music is so beautiful. The music is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Perfect conditions. Celia can feel the love tonight and is ready to take this cuddle cart to the next level. The light cascading across the face of Jackson creates an image so breathtaking. She is taken aback. The stunning sight has given Thelia some inspiration to write some prods about such beauty. Does Thelia attempt to make the mood even more romantic by reciting some personalized poetry? Or does she let his actions do the talking? Um, I feel like she'd ride with the vibes, honestly. So... It turns out vibes aren't that fun to ride. The cuddle carts prove to be a little too turbulent for any canoodling, and the two spend the ride trying to hold on for dear life rather than each other. Not only that, the loud squeaking and clanging have drawn too much attention for Thelia and Jackson to keep a low profile. Don't you hate it when you pick the squeaky cart? Oh my gosh, girl. Honestly, I get squeakiness when you're trying to be intimate. That is just really unfortunate oh my gosh are they gonna get kicked out are they gonna get kicked out and found out that they were like woohooing on the cuddle carts oh my gosh that would be so terrible if they get like banned from this ride because of that that would suck i'm so scared that they're gonna be in trouble and we're not gonna be able to go on the uh ferris wheel and like woohoo but they still can so I think we're able to. Like, I think they didn't get in trouble. She reached level 3 of the romance skill. That's good. Okay, I'm going to save again. Because honestly, I really like love this so much. And I don't want to like lose anything. So, let's go, Jackson and Thalia. Let's go on the last attraction here in Woohoo. And honestly, if she's not pregnant by this point, I honestly will be shocked. Because my game literally makes my sims, like, get knocked up so much. I don't even try half the time. I know people are like, oh, your sims get pregnant, like, a lot. I'm like, well, my game just loves to be fertile. So, they're gonna go on the Ferris wheel and woohoo. And let's hope that they don't get found out that they are getting spicy on the ferris wheel so honestly i'm just like here for it they are both so freaking cute together i feel like they are made for each other honestly i didn't even intend for her and jackson to be anything more than friends but the game said they wanted it to happen so yeah so wonder if we're gonna get a pop-up this time we should Honestly, I'm really, like, living for all these pop-ups. Like, I just feel like it adds so much, like, detail to this game that we needed. I mean, I don't even care that these rides are, like, not even, like, you know, you can't see them or anything. I don't even care about that because 
it's just so freaking cute that we even have the availability to be able to like do this so um i want them to come over here and get some ice cream here in a minute but i think i want them to go and woohoo in this photo booth and then get some pictures so um we're gonna go have them woohoo again and this time they're gonna do it in the photo booth and then get some cute snapshots of them in their wedding outfits so, honestly, I kind of want Thelia to go ahead and get into the criminal career. She has actually succeeded a few times stealing items from people's houses. So, I think I want her to get into the criminal career now. So, I'm really, really excited about that. Oh my gosh, this guy, Wolfgang, just saw them going to Woohoo. Well, you know what? We don't even care. We don't even care. Nobody cares. Literally... <laughs> They're gonna do it anyway. They don't even care. Oh my gosh. So, like I was saying, I want to get Thelia in the criminal career. And I also want to get Jackson into the entertainer career. Because I feel like he would totally do that to make some extra money. But I do also want to have him have like a little, um, like a weed, like, like, I want him to, like, have a weed garden as well where he, like, can sell his weed and stuff like that as well. Because I feel like he's going to still be a drug dealer. He's not going to give up on that because it gives him some money as well. Oh, my gosh. What happened in there? You all got, like, really freaking dirty in there, apparently. Oh, my gosh. What does this say? Body... Booth from spectacular woohooing, Thelia should be careful not to misplace the evidence of the steamy photogenic encounter. Oh my gosh, wow! And I just think, honestly, like <laughs> they are such a freaking cute couple. I'm gonna keep saying it every single part, probably just because I mean it so much. I love them so so much that I literally have them as my background on my phone. So, we're going to go ahead and get some, uh, let's get some friendly photos, and then we can also get some romantic ones as well. So, let's go get, like, a friendly photo, and then we can get some other ones. Honestly, Jackson's going to need a shower, so we're probably going to have to go somewhere to, like, a shower, like, place. Maybe we could go to, like, a spa or something, or, like... You know, somewhere that has a shower. He's like, I stink, like, so bad. <laughs> well, you all can get, like, showered up and stuff later. We might we might have to have them go to a spa. We'll see. I think it would be cute if they did, though. Because then they could just, like, freshen up and stuff. But I think this was so cute that they actually get to go, like... And do something for their honeymoon that's not actually, like, traditional. Because I feel like they're not a traditional couple. They are total rebels. And they're going... Them going and being, like, super, like, risky on these attractions is so them. So. I love this thing. I love this photo booth. I think it's probably one of my favorite items in the game. I honestly think like I have waited so long for them to like make this I'm so glad that it came on high school years because I honestly was like gonna ask somebody to like make CC a photo booth because I honestly wanted a photo booth so freaking bad I'm just so happy we finally have it in the game after so long because like we had it in Sims 3 and Sims 2 so I'm really happy that we finally have it um, let's do some funny photos as well. Let's just do some really funny ones, and then let's do some mischievous ones. I just want them to have all the pictures, because I love them so much. So, let me see. I have been recording for quite a while. I have been recording almost, like, 30 minutes. And I don't want to quit playing, like, anytime soon, because I'm just enjoying this so much. She's like, that photo sucked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go take another funny photo. They just are really into, like, this photo booth, getting pictures. Like, 
Sometimes my Sims have, like, not wanted to, like, get pictures as much, and I think it's probably because those Sims didn't really like photography very much, but Thelia and Jackson both really love doing this, so I think it's really, really cute. So we're going to do a mischievous photo as well, and we're definitely going to have to put these pictures in their house as well. We'll probably put them up either in their bedroom or in the living room somewhere. <laughs> I kind of do want her to take a pregnancy test, but at the same time, I kind of just want her to find out naturally because I feel like it would be cool for my Sim to, like, f find out naturally instead of, like, finding out through a test because I never do that. I never have my Sims just, you know, realize, oh my gosh, I'm actually pregnant. So if she, like, finds out she's pregnant naturally then I think that's, like, really unique as well. And she is a really unique Sim as well, her and Jackson. So I just really, really want that to happen. So he's just like, I really am gross. We really need to go somewhere so I can take a shower. <laughs> we totally will, Jackson. Don't even worry. Oh, my gosh. Look at these pictures of them. Oh, my gosh. I love these. They're so cute. This one's like a repeat, but it is so stinking cute. I love all of these. They're so adorable. I will literally treasure those forever, and I know they will too. I just honestly am so happy that they got to do this. I kind of want them to come over here and end the night by getting some ice cream. I'm going to have her come order. I think she get like probably cookie dough. And I'm going to have him actually order him some um, vanilla. So he's going to get vanilla and she's going to get her cookie dough ice cream. And they're going to end their honeymoon by coming over here and getting some frozen treats. Oh my gosh, the lady even thinks he, he smells. Oh my gosh. So... I'm just so happy that they got to do this together. I'm really happy they got to spend the day together and got to, like, celebrate their wedding. And honestly, I think it's so wholesome that they actually do have feelings for each other and they didn't just, like, get married for money. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. Hang up. She's not gonna... She's not gonna call... Like, she's not gonna, like fall for those spam calls because she's the one that should be making spam calls because she is so mischievous so honestly she's not going to believe any of them so she just has all these happy moodlets she really has to go pee really bad though hopefully she doesn't like wet herself i would really freaking hate that that would be so embarrassing i know jackson wouldn't like make fun of her or anything but i feel like that would still be super embarrassing for her to, like, pee on herself. So, yeah. So, I'm going to actually probably end the episode off here. And I'll have her go to the bathroom in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support so far on this legacy. I have just enjoyed it so much. And I hope you all have as well. I just love Thelia and Jackson so much, and I cannot wait to see where their life takes them. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, everyone.